Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Linda J here with another $10 food challenge. This week I did go to Meyer. I don't know if you're familiar with those stores, but they're kind of in the Midwest and um, like Michigan, Indiana, Kentucky. And they're, they're continually, you know, making new, you know, building new stores all over. So um, maybe soon you'll have one where you're at. But what Meyer does, they're similar to a Walmart. So it's a grocery store that has clothes, that has um, automotive things, that has a pharmacy, kind of your all-in-one store. And they do a 10 for 10 every so often. And with that 10 for 10, you get the 11th item free. So my challenge today was to try to get a week's worth of food for one person off of that 10 for 10. <laughs> so um, it was a little difficult, um, and I'll show you what I did. I did have to tweak it just a smidge. So for breakfast, I did go with the waffles. There are 10 of them, so you only get one a day, and then a few days you're going to have um, an extra one. So three days you'll have two and four days you'll have one. Uh, the eggs were not on the 10 for 10, they were 79 cents. So that was actually an extra. I just felt like breakfast needed a little something more. And since the eggs were on sale, that's a good price for the eggs. I did go ahead and add that to the breakfast. Now, the sausage. This is Aldi's um, heat and serve turkey sausages, the 10 count. And what they have on the 10 for 10 at Meyer this week were the banquet um, heat and serve sausage links, also a 10 count. But I did a pickup order, which the problem with a pickup order is you're not in the store to pick your substitutions. And unfortunately, the day that I did my order, their substitutions, uh, I, I, I think it all goes through the computer and it was down. I, I'm not quite sure. I've never done their pickup service, so it was this is all new to me. So they said they were completely out, which it can be because some sometimes people will really stock up on these items um, that live further out, and then they, you know, get like a month's worth of food. So I don't doubt that they were probably out of it, but I am including these because I had them in my freezer um, as the ten for ten. So if you were gonna go do this. You could, you know, try to get the waffles and the banquet heat and serve sausage to go for your breakfast. And then the eggs I added because they were 79 cents. Now, for lunch, and really you could switch the lunch and the dinner up. What I did is I got two of these three cheese um, potatoes. It's kind of like au gratin potatoes. And the reason why I went with these is because they have five servings in each box. Now, we all know that their serving sizes are usually a little bit less than what we would eat anyway. So I figure this kind of gives um, a, a better amount of food for each day. So I got two of those and they had the sausage on there, the John Morrell. So I got the, I always go with the Polish sausage, but they also had the smoked sausage as well. So you can serve that up how you prefer to go with the potatoes. And then for dinner, let's try and be creative. They did not have regular bread on the 10 for 10. So I went with the crescent rolls and I got some hot dogs. So I did get the original hot dogs and the cheese franks just because I wanted a little variety and I didn't need so, so many, but I did need two packages so that we, we could have two of these each night for dinner wrap them in a crescent roll. It's kind of fun. Hopefully you have ketchup or mustard at home to dip them in. And I grabbed a bag of the frozen sweet corn to have with the dinner. Now, I have 10 items here. So the waffles, the sausage, the potatoes, sausage, hot dogs, crescent rolls, and the corn. So I get a free item. And I got the Gatorade Zero. Now this is the 32 ounce bottle, and this, I don't drink these the way they are, I always add water. So that's gonna last me throughout the week. Maybe not the whole week, but it'll give me something to, to drink throughout the week. And the reason why I added that was because I thought, somebody asked me, you know, if I just drink water all week, or, 
you know, what I do for that. And I, I do. I do drink a lot of water and iced tea. I like unsweetened iced tea. So this will help with electrolytes. And it's kind of nice to have something different. And adds a drink to the, the mix this week. So I spent $10.79. So I did go a little bit over, but I figure it gives you enough food to make it through the week. So I'm going to go ahead and make this up, and I will be right back. All right, guys, here we go with the prepared food for breakfast. I did the one waffle, because remember we have 10 in the pack. Uh, so four of the days you're only going to have one, and three of the days you're going to have two. I did the one sausage there again. With the sausage, you're gonna have uh, 10 sausages. So four of the days you'll have one, and three of the days you'll get two. And the eggs, we have a dozen. So I did do two scrambled eggs there. So you can kind of play around with that, how you need to work with the breakfast items. And for lunch, we have the hot dogs with the crescent rolls and corn. And there are, I have two packages of the hot dogs, so there are eight, oh, excuse me, 16 hot dogs, and I had two packages of crescent rolls, which are eight in a pack, so I have 16. So if you have two a day, you're gonna have two extra. Again, use them where you need them. And with the corn, it's only about a fourth of a cup, maybe a, like a heaping fourth of a cup. Um, but that's plenty of corn, I think. For lunch and then for dinner the Polish sausage or smoked sausage uh, those are smaller than I realized it's only seven ounces so you're only gonna get one ounce of meat so I cut them uh, and just kind of saute them a little bit heat them up or you could keep the piece um, you know and just mix it in you know however you want to do it you know and then the potatoes end up being just shy of a cup uh, or most days it'll be a cup, and then uh, you'll have one day where it'll be just shy of a cup. So pretty good portion there um, to make up for it. But I think, you know, with like I said, you have some extra um, that you could play around with with your breakfast if you needed to. And we do have the drink this week, so that makes for a nice change. And if you were wondering, um, I know they didn't have the banquet sausage this week. So for my 10, 10 items, get the 11th item free. I actually, I always get a couple extra do, uh, 10 for 10 items just in case something like that happens. So I had actually ordered two of the larger Gatorades. And so I still did get, you know, one item free. So just in case you were wondering, um, but it did work out. And I hope you enjoy this. If you are new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. Comment below. Let me know if you like this. And if you are returning, thank you guys so much. And I will see you all on the next one. Bye.